Hello Mass Attacks here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the Tier 8 Premium Russian Light Tank, the LT-432. Before we get into the action, as always, I'll show you my crew and equipment that I'm currently using on this tank. My crew on this tank, not a bad crew, they're all onto the fourth skill. They are from my T-100 LT. The equipment that I use on this is vents, gun rammer and coated optics. I also use the premium consumable food. So let's have a look at the battle. Today I'm playing on Erlenberg. It's a standard battle. I've got the 510 matchmaking and I'm top tier today. When you're playing a standard battle on this map, if you spawn on the south, I find that the enemy normally attack from the west. So if you go to the east, this is more for you to attack, I find. And since I'm in a light tank, I am going to go this way, see if I can spot and then advance to the top north of the map. I've come to the far hill here because there's some bushes to give you cover, but I did get spotted there. What I need to do is get rid of these wheeled vehicles first. Then I might be able to advance. So I'm just pulling back a bit since I've been lit up. If you use Tanks JG for stats on your tank, you'll know that you don't get concealment values from that website, but you can get them from the garage in the game. And what I've got with my crew and equipment, my concealment, when you're moving or when you're stationary, it's just the same with light tanks. That's a benefit of a light tank. But my concealment stationary or moving without firing is 33.92 which is quite good and then when i fire it drops down to 7.63 so if you're trying to spot don't fire you will get spotted if you do that especially if you're trying to spot light tanks they will counter spot you so i've positioned myself in this bush see if i can spot and i couldn't spot anything so now i'm gonna make the run if you can make it right to the ridge at a zero you light all the campers up sitting in them bushes which will enable your team to shoot them i've spotted two already but i have taken a shot from that tiger then wheel vehicles are in the middle of the field that's causes problems but i'm getting a lot of assistance here and this is a great move to help your team this ridge is giving us cover from that whale vehicle, but he's been taken now, so that's great. So I want to push up here, light that tiger up and anything else. SU-152, I did get a shot into him, but had to pull back quick. A shot from one of them shooting HA when you're a light tank is really going to hurt. But he's been taken out as I sneak a shot into the 45 TP, who's in the middle streets. So I'm going to push again, I want to get rid of this tiger. Get a shot into him, he's lit up. Is anybody gonna take him? Seeing the male's getting a shot into us with HE. Not sure where he is, but I'll have to move forward. I know forward will make us safe. So I'm getting a shot into the VK 30D. Another shot in. I could be double pushed. I'm not sure if I'm lit, but I'm starting to tear him apart. If I can take him out, only one more shot needed. He's pulling back though. There's that seeing the male. So there's the craziness gone, but we'll have taken this corner, and this is key, I think, when you're playing a standard battle on this map. I have set this tank up as an active scout, using the coated optics, and with my crew and equipment, I've got my view range to 467 metres, which is over the 440 maximum. This tank, by far, is my favourite level 8 light tank, and that's because nearly everything about it I like. You've got that low profile that gives it good concealment values. The armor's really nice. You get 70 millimeters on the front of your hull, 40 millimeters on the side and rear. And then the turret, which is really small on this tank, you get 160 millimeters on the front, 100 millimeters on the side, and 60 on the rear, which is really good for a light tank. And then you get the mobility of this tank which it does 70 kilometers an hour going forward, 23 in reverse, which is really good. At the moment, I'm just creeping through these bushes. I want to spot them tank destroyers, but I don't want to do anything silly by driving straight in front of them and dying. 
I can't help if I'm dead. Now there's a P-43 tur advancing, getting one shot into him. I'm double bushed, I wasn't there, I could have been spotted. Did get two shots into him and I did get spotted. So I'm just backing off, don't want to get hit by them tank destroyers. And the CN males just put a big shot into us, only 165 hit points. No point reversing as it's slower, just pulled straight out and I'm trying to get back in that corner, behind a ridge, give myself some cover. Till I'm not lit up anymore. Now I'm gonna have to play a support role for me ALC even 90. Can't really go forward and spot with hardly any hit points. S1 spotted us. I'm really gonna struggle with his sloped armor. So I've just pulled back. Just spotted some heavies in the middle. Not sure if I can get some shots in. Yes I can. King Tiger C one shot into him. Not sure if I'm late still. I'm getting a second shot into him. Hopefully we can take these out. I could see him there. Missed the shot though. And he's been taken out. Not sure where the 45 TP is now. I'm going to move to this bush. See if I can spot them tank destroyers. S1. I should have been double bushed. So he wouldn't light us up. But I'm not sure I would have penetrated with the shot. There's the 45 TP and he's been taken out. So now I'm just going to sit and wait. Me heavies will push through them streets, the T29 and the 45 TP, and hopefully get behind the Santa Mail and the S1, and then we'll be able to take them out. Got them surrounded. That's what my plan is. So as we wait, I'll tell you another feature of this tank that I do like, and that is the gun. You do only get an 85mm gun on this. It has 176 penetration with 180 alpha damage and I've taken the Santa Mail out. The plan works, the T29 I think spotted him. Pushing forward for that S1. I've got the side of him, nice shot into him. Can I get a second? I need to flank round him, he's been taken out. Two enemy vehicles have started capping me base now. So I can't mess about, I need to head back towards my base. See if we can reset it. See if I can light things up and reset it. So I'll get back to telling you the stats on this gun. With my crew and equipment, I've got a reload time of 4.21 seconds, which gives us a DBM of 2,564. I've got an aim time of 1.76, which is really nice, and a dispersion of 0.33, which is good, but it hasn't helped us hit that T20. Other good things about this gun is you get 7 degrees of gun depression, which is really nice for, especially for a Russian tank. Trap the T20. And I get a shot into him and he's been finished off. And also your shell velocity is 1150 meters per second, which is also really nice. But a little thing I find a bit awkward with this tank, you only get 50 shells. Snuck a shot into that bulldog. Them 50 shells, you can get through them quite quick since you haven't got much alpha damage. And I've finished the Bulldog off. So a cap saved. Only one tank left, the Samoa SM. So I'm going to head back. I think I'll probably head up onto the hill. I'll probably struggle to penetrate that Samoa. And I'm definitely only a one shot for him. So I am going to advance onto the hill. There's some bushes on the hill. See if I can spot them. Our S1's pushing straight in, so hopefully he can light them up and I can sneak some shots into him. If I can see that's some more firing, I can count his shots, because it is an auto-loader. And once he's emptied that magazine, I can advance then, flank him, get round the back of him. Depending on his hit points, I might be able to take him out that way. But at the moment, I'm just going to sit in this bush and see if I can spot. I'm also letting the rest of my team advance. Not sure what the Santa Mail's doing. Looks like he's covering the other side. This one is pushing to the tree line. 45 TP's in the middle of the field, which isn't a great move. But somebody will spot him. When you're up against only one tank, there he is. Didn't hit with that shot. As I was saying, when you're up against one tank, especially an auto loader, You'll be much better off if all of attack at the same time. He's not going to take his all out. And when he's reloading that magazine, the rest of yous can take him out. 
It did look like he fired a few shells there, but he hasn't emptied the magazine. I'm hoping he gets spotted quick so he hasn't got time to reload the full magazine, but he's fired again and again. Ah, can I penetrate? And there's the third. I think he might have fired all the magazine. I've tracked him there. Two shots, I'll be able to finish him off. I missed there, but now it's time to move in. I've ran out of standard ammo now, so the gold has been loaded, which I hate. As I said before, I do find it a little bit of a problem in this tank, only carrying 50 shells. If I have a good game, I do end up running out of the standard shells, which are APCR. If I do run out of them, I've got to change to the gold, which is AP. Just trying to flank around this Samoa. If you do change to the gold, the AP, you do get 218 penetration, but you do lose a little bit shell velocity. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was a class 1 badge. And we've got the Confederate medal, which you've got to hit more enemy vehicles than any other player on your team. At least 6, we hit 11. Top of the tree for XP with a base XP of 1190. Second for damage, 2988. We made 90,000 credits. Plus 13,749 XP, that's due to playing a premium vehicle, a personal mission payout, and an award for the first victory each day, which was at times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, I hope you enjoyed it. I'd also like to thank all my new subscribers for joining my channel and supporting us. If you haven't subscribed and you're new to the channel, little icons bottom right hand corner. And if anybody has any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.